fully confident he can answer it. <laughs> Jude, will you talk, start us out, if you would, a little bit about uh, Western Michigan, what you've seen on film from them. Uh, Western Michigan, they look like a very good football team. Um, they have very explosive wideouts. Uh, they have two of the, probably the best wideouts I've seen in the conference this year. Um, their quarterback uh, can make plays with his feet. He can extend the play. And they do a good job up front opening up holes for the running back and getting some, uh, getting the run game going. So they pretty much have a complete offense. So we got, we got our hands full this week. When you looked at the, the running back, because he's a freshman, I mean, are there things that you notice that can kind of tell you he is a freshman, or is it, wow, he's pretty good for a freshman? No, actually, he's running like a grown man. He's, he's, he's getting in the third level, and he's, he's running the ball hard. And, you know, he's, his offensive line is doing a great job, and uh, their schemes are doing a great job for him. But at the same time, it's up to us to get after him because, after all, he's a freshman. And, you know, we, it's our job to get after him in the run game and really stop him. When, when you look at Western, how far back in film study do you go? I mean, do you look at all the games or just last couple, or how far back do you go? Um, I mean, me personally, I like to look at the last game they played, and then I look at maybe like maybe one or two games during the season, maybe if they played a BCS school or anything, to see how they fared against those teams. But I like to I like to watch as much film as possible. And I know we do too as a defense. And, and I, the reason I ask that is because the last couple of weeks they seem to have taken a step forward or a leap up or however you want to say it. And I was curious if you saw something on film that that explained how they did that. Um, they look pretty explosive. They came out against Purdue early in the season. They, that's that's explosive as they looked all, uh, all season. And last week against Ball State, they started off a little slow, but their second half was really good offensively, and they were able to put together a game-winning drive. So, you know, they've been they've been pretty consistent though. They've been pretty consistent on offense, and they've been able to move the ball. So, that's what definitely stands out on film. Did you notice something different with their second half as opposed to the first? I, mean, I think I, they. They were better at just executing, throwing and catching, blocking. They, they did execute a little better in the, in the second half. In the first half, they seemed to have a couple drops and everything that slowed them down. But in the second half, they really got things going. And judging from the stories, I didn't watch the film, but I've read stories. It sounds like their quarterback took a step up in the second half also in terms of made some plays that he might not have made in the first half. Is there? Yeah, definitely. He, he was able to get things going a little bit. He made plays. He made some plays with his feet. I couldn't really tell on film whether they started going up tempo or not, but the offense, it got moving a little faster. Everything was started running a little bit smoother. And they were able to get some of the explosive plays they didn't, weren't able to get in the first half. As a defense, the last six quarters, do you guys feel more confident? Is there a difference that's tangible or not? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can play well for six quarters, you're, you're going to gain confidence. And I feel like that's what football, that's what football is mostly about. It's about being able to gain some momentum and gain some confidence. And when you play well, you're able to do those things. And I feel like we've done, we've done a good job the last six quarters and we fare well against our opponent. But we have a tough challenge before us this weekend and we need to step up and uh, take it on. How much do you kind of embrace that challenge? You know, you, like you say, you look at Western's offense and it's pretty explosive. And uh, the way you guys were able to handle things against OU, you kind of embrace the challenge that, you, that faces next week. Yeah, the challenge, I mean, I think I said that last week, but the challenge is going to get greater every week as we move forward. And month of October is really important to be able to win so that you can play in November for something meaningful and then eventually hopefully be in Detroit. So the challenges get greater, but as a defense and as a team, we have goals that we set every week, things that we want to accomplish that week. You know, we can't really, we can't really control what the opponent is going to do. We can control what we do. We can control how we prepare. We can control how much film we watch. We can control how we execute and things like that. So I feel like as the challenge gets greater, the great teams step up and meet the challenge. And that's what we have to do this weekend. What did it mean to have uh, Ryland back on the field last week? Oh, that's my partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Ryland, uh, he, he's started a lot of games here. It was kind of not good having him. You know, it's kind of kind of hurt not having him out there. But he's a senior. He knows what's at stake. And last week, you know, he was able to come back and we were gelling together. It was nice to have him back on the field making plays. Talk about playing defense, uh, 100 plays or more that you guys were out on the field last week. Right, that would be a real challenge physically, emotionally, for you guys to be on the field that much. Yeah, it's a challenge, and it's different, but it's it's an opportunity to go out there and play. You know, this game, you only get so you only get so much time to play this game. And, you know, you go out there, whether it's 50 plays or 100 plays, we just want to win. You know, it doesn't matter how many plays we take. it takes. So 
I feel like it was different, but it was fun at the same time. I had a, I had a lot of, I have a lot of fun playing in those type of games. Dude, when you look back at the last six quarters, um, and now you guys are finally getting a healthy Rylands back, um, the season's moving on. How much? Where's the mindset with this defense? How much does that guys build you guys' confidence going forward? Um, getting getting Ryland back, getting guys back, all that is key. But uh, our confidence is going to be based on our play, and no matter who's out there. People have to ex we have to execute our jobs and we have to we have to be able to go out there and stop the, the opponent. And I feel like the last six quarters are going to build great momentum moving forward. And we need that this weekend. We need all 11 guys. We need as many guys as we can. And we need everybody healthy. We need everybody ready to go for Western Michigan. Does it change the mood in, within the defense coming off of a game, a game against OU where the defense really had to step up and the offense was uh, kind of stalled for certain portions of the game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're definitely gaining more confidence, I'd say, um, you know, and uh, moving forward, we know that our offense, we will get better. The de as the defense is going to improve, the offense will improve, the whole team will improve, because that's the only way we're going to get to where we want and meet our goals. So as everything improves and we bring everything together, I feel like we'll be, uh, we'll be just fine. What's the, we're talking about the confidence of the defense, but I guess what's the overall mood with the team? Here we are now, like uh, middle of October. You know, you open the season with a loss, lose starting quarterback, but now you know things are obviously. It's almost like 180. Not that you need to put your feet up and you know take a nap or whatever, but I imagine things are mood wise pretty good. Well, I mean, I think we're right where we want to be. Um, we're uh, you know we're undefeated in the MAC, and uh, I think before the season, if you'd have told anybody that this would be our record going into this game. It probably would have been like, yeah, I mean, you know, that's probably right. So, you know, losing Matt and losing the starting quarterback, everything, you know, it was, it was disappointing at the beginning of the season. But that's football, you know. Next, next guy up, and I think James has done a great job of stepping up, and we're moving forward, and uh, we have a good, there's a good vibe around the locker room about where we are right now. When you, when you talk about a good vibe, uh, how different is that vibe now from what it was coming into the season? I think, like I said, you know, coming into the season, uh, our goals and our expectation was, you know, to be to be undefeated in the MAC. We were trying to win a MAC title. And, you know, I think I said it earlier, we were trying to throw the Western Kentucky game out, you know, and all the bad losses and you know all the bad showings we had, we were trying to put them behind us. And the only way we could have done that is to go out there and win more ball games and play well. And now that we've done that so far. It's helped the team morale. It's, it's helped everyone. You know, people are smiling. We're having fun. You know, so it's it's just helped the whole team. How difficult was that to turn that around after that slow start? I think it wasn't. It wasn't as difficult as people think because we have great. We have great. We have great leadership. We have a lot of seniors who care. We have a lot. We have coaches who could care a great deal, and uh, we have players. We have underclassmen. We have young guys who care, and. People don't want to see us do like people on the team don't want to see us do bad. Everybody wants to win. I feel like when you got 105 guys who buy into that, it doesn't take much to turn it around. So I think that's what we've been able to do. We've been able to keep focus and block outside sources and what people are saying on the outside and just focus on us. And I think that's what's brought us this far so far. And I'm just spitballing here for a second. Did that loss? especially at Western Kentucky, especially the way it went down, did that help that bonding? Yeah, I mean, to an extent. I mean, you don't want to lose games, especially in the fashion that we did, but it was a wake-up call. It, it, it put a sense of urgency, I think, on, the, on, on everybody, and it let us know that it's not going to be easy. We're going to have a target this season. Everybody's going to give us their best shot. And, you know, I think after that, not to say that our mindset was any less going into the game because we, we believed and we wanted to win that game, but – after that, we felt we felt like you know everybody had to step up, and I feel like everybody has done so so far. Anything else for Jude? Thank you. Jude.